Hello, I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for September the 24th through September the 30th. Um, welcome. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I really appreciate you and I hope that you enjoy these readings and that you will come back. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. Listen, guys, you know, you really touch my heart and, and, and you really help me through a very difficult week. Um, I want to apologize for only getting seven um, readings up last week. So I am going to start with Aries where I left off in, with uh, Pisces last week. So I'm going to start with Aries. I hope the Librans will forgive me. As soon as I've gone through to um, Virgo, I will then do uh, Libra and go on from there. Um, what else? Um, you really helped me. Thank you for all the wonderful sentiments about my mum. I really appreciate you. I'm using a green screen uh, with photographs from Nottingham, but um, I'm going to, each reading will be uh, my mum's window um, in the background. So it's her view of what she had in her house just before she was, um, she moved into the assisted living uh, apartment. She lived in Woolerton and here is the view out of her window. It was so pretty and this is only a section of her window. She had a lovely bay window. Um, anyway, I thought I would let you know that and of course this is in honour of my mum. I will be leaving for England next week. I may not get the readings up for a couple of weeks so I just wanted you to bear with me and please hang in there and come back. Um, and support me. I really, I would really appreciate that. Now, um, these are general readings, guys. Uh, I will start with an astrological reading, and you can skip that if you're checking out your sun, moon, and rising. Um, but the astrological reading is quite interesting this week, and that will go on every video. The format will change um, probably in uh, maybe the end of October or November. Um, I'm going to tailor each uh, reading for each sign um, so they'll be different and uh, what what else oh these are general readings like I said if you would like a personal reading you can click here and find out more information um, and if you just want to support me and I can tell you I could really use <laughs> support right now uh, with everything that's going on and um, you can check me out on patreon and you can click on here for Patreon. Um, okay, so let's go into the astrological report, shall we? Look, we're starting off the week with a full moon in Aries. Now, moons are very um, emotional anyway, um, but this moon in particular is quite emotional. I mean, of course, all the water signs, you know, definitely feel it, but it's right next to Chiron. Um, and Chiron is the wounded uh, healer. So we're going to find a lot of uh, our childhood wounds may come up. You know, some, some issues that we, you know, look, they may be brought up and that's great, right? Because this is a time that we can look at them, um, feel them and then release them. Um, so this is a great opportunity to do that. We may have some uh, issues this week with our, there are several other aspects going on. I'm just going to give you a general energy for the week. Uh, we may have some challenges with our relationships uh, this week. So we could be quick to um, be angry so it's really important to think before we speak and react and try to avoid uh, conflict but whatever happens this week there are lessons here and there are obstacles that we can overcome these are opportunities for us to overcome these obstacles um, on on the positive side we are going to have a lot of energy um, and so we will be, you know, we will be um, energized to be ambitious and to do things and have that get up and go. So that's a good thing. Um, just 
you know, when something comes up for you, you know, retreat and have some self-reflection with it so that you can learn from it and move on. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet um, and because there is, you know, it, there's a lot going on this week. Um, I, I just... I just want to mention the the full moon is always a culmination of things. We will be letting things go. We will be letting relationships go. Um, it is important for us to really look and see what is working for us and then release that which is no longer working for us. It's, sometimes we, we fight to hang on to things that don't work for us. This, this full moon is definitely, a, well, all full, full moons are, um, a culmination or an ending, right? Um, a completion of something. And, and this is particularly energized towards the completion of things. Um, relationships in kind of all areas, in, you know, at work, our boss. Some of us will be ending um, jobs. Some of us will be ending Perhaps if we have a business, we'll be ending some part of what we've been doing and no longer focusing on that and focusing on something else. Whatever this is, it's transformational right now. And so we will be, um, we will be going forward kind of renewed and different. I know I, for one, have really, f I've really felt the energy of this <laughs> full moon and some childhood issues came up for me and it was intense um, and but what I was able to do was I, I was able to you know really feel it you know it was primal crying uh, that I went through and when I came through it I was able to look at it um, I don't want to say dispassionately but from a distance and I was able to um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I was able to discern and, and I was able to remove myself from those intense feelings and really see what was going on so that I could accept it and then just, you know, release it and move on. We don't have to feel that pain forever, but it is important that we go back and we feel it so that it's not affecting our lives in a negative way so that we can move forward without the shackles of the past on us. So this moon, this full moon, is, a real, is an amazing opportunity to remove those shackles. Just be willing to look at that. Be willing to look at that messy stuff. Sometimes it's messy, you know, we all have that. Um, but look at it so that you can release it. Um, so without further ado, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for September the 24th through September the 30th. And the first card out for you is the Knight of Cups. This is bringing, look, he brings in love and he brings in intuition and psychic abilities. Um, this is a really wonderful omen. He's coming in. He's like the knight in shining armor, bearing gifts of love. And clarifying this card. So think you, it's about moving forward. You know, knights are always about move, movement, right? Now, clarifying it, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is about working hard and she's about gaining all this, you know, um, wonderful possessions and, you know, and, and gaining all this wealth and... And the only thing that I will say about the Queen of Pentacles, and she's a, a brilliant leader, and she, she knows, look, this is all about hard work, right? This is about putting effort into, um, definitely this is about putting effort into something or someone or yourself. Oh, I'm getting itchy. That's, that's spirit. Thank you. Um, you have to make, you've got to work hard. So something is going on in your life where you need to make a lot of effort. You've got to keep moving. This is about physically moving and going forward. 
um, because the the rewards will be immense for you. Um, but it's all about hard work, uh, Sagittarius. Um, and look, you've got the fall. This is about a leap of faith. This is about a new journey for you. This is almost about, this is an adventure. This is about seeing this change. You've got some change going on. And it's about seeing the change as an adventure and something really wonderful. And, you know, because look, sometimes we can look at change and being fear. Oh no, what's gonna happen? And the fool comes in and he's like, oh no, what's gonna, oh yes, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen next? I don't know what's gonna happen. So he's seeing everything as an adventure. And you're being asked to take that leap of faith and to really trust that, um, that you're going to be okay. And this is a really wonderful uh, change and opportunity. Um, so it's, but it, it's not going to be handed to you on a silver platter, Sagittarius. So it is about putting the effort and the hard work into it. Um, now, the next card that comes up is the Four of Cups. This is saying that you are not, you're kind of focused on, you're kind of disappointed and you're focusing on what's not working for you. And in doing so, you're missing this wonderful gift. So it's about, this sometimes is, you know, looking off and seeing what you can't have and what hasn't worked out for you, right? And you're not in, so in that energy, you really miss the gifts that's coming from uh, God, right? From a higher plane. You are, the, there's a gift in front of you and you're not seeing it because you're too focused on, it's almost like, you know, it's, it's when you're saying, poor me, this hasn't worked out. I can't have this. I can't do this. And when you're in that energy, right, the poor me, I used to say to myself, when I heard myself doing that, because I, we all do it, you know, that's the honest. Honestly, we all go there. Um, so I, I trained myself every time I heard, oh, no, poor me, this is not working. I'd suddenly go, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> So I would hear that and I'm, I would laugh because I'd be like, oh God, I'm on my pity pot again. You know, we all have that. We all do that. Um, it's about putting some kind of anchor in place to stop yourself going down that rabbit hole, you know, because then when you're down that rabbit hole, you're really not seeing that wonderful, beautiful gift coming from heaven, Right clarifying it you've got the eight of pentacles it's about working and it's about creating right it's look whatever's going on in your life Sagittarius it's about focusing on working whatever that is you're working something you're either at work or you're at home working you've got to keep going and you have to keep focusing on you know your craft, being creative, getting better, whatever it is for you. You know, I'm getting the wounded warrior, you know, Chiron's here right now. This is about really, some of you may be physically ill, some of you may be um, spiritually bereft or, you know, whatever it is, you've got to work hard to come out of that. And some of you just are on your life path and you've just, you know, you want it, you're praying for it, but you're not making the effort to go and get it and do it. So this is about putting physical effort into whatever you have. This is the physical plane, right? The pentacles are the physical plane. Um, now, the next card, and this has come up for a lot of people, is the page of swords. It's like you're ready for the next phase of your life, Sagittarius. It's like you have this knowledge and now you are, you need the experience. So this is about going on to the next phase of your life. This is an exciting time. And I'm telling you, you've got to really put the effort into, really push yourself to put the effort into it. Don't, don't look, sometimes I have to push myself. Sometimes I want to sit there on the couch and watch television, you know, and eat bonbons. I don't really like bonbons. So I'm just saying that. But anyway, whatever it is, I sometimes I'm feeling lazy. Well, this is the time not to be. You've got to keep moving, Sagittarius. Keep it moving because look, you've got the 10 of pentacles, all your needs being met. This is happy family. This is really a wonderful 
wonderful time, but you have to put the effort in to to get this. This is wonderful. Really, you are ready. It's just hard work. Don't be afraid of the hard work because it's going to pay off so much. And tr don't focus on what hasn't worked or what you don't have. Keep the keep the focus on what you do have because that's what's going to give you this, this wonderful, all your needs being met. You just have to really kind of work hard. There's no way around it, you know, Sagittarius. It's not, it, you know, you're going to get wonderful results from the hard, as much effort as you put in, you'll get tenfold. So just keep pushing yourself to put the effort in. Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and feedback. I love that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And um, I love you all and I'll see you soon.